The Panda was initially equipped with 1.1 petrol engines, 1.2 and 1.4 liters. The turbo diesel under the hood of the City Compact appeared in 2004 and existed in two varieties, 75 and 90 horsepower. In a 4x4 Panda, this unit developed 70 horsepower. Gasoline engines installed on Pandas do not have two serious inherent problems, with the exception of one. The basic versions have low power, which can be a serious drawback for such a roomy car. Therefore, if you have the opportunity to choose, it is better to look for a 1.4-liter modification or a turbo diesel, which, like other modern diesel engines, is strongly recommended not to buy at high mileage. Because repairing fuel equipment is very expensive. The advantage of these engines is low fuel consumption, which without special examples reaches 4 liters per 100 kilometers, but mechanics draw attention to the fact that individual components of a diesel engine sometimes require replacement after 100,000 instead of the 250 declared by the manufacturer. In particular, speech it's about the timing chain. At the same time, motorists claim that with proper maintenance, a small diesel engine can travel over 400,000 without serious problems, regardless of the version. A multi-plate clutch is responsible for all-wheel drive, it is a passive and maintenance-free unit. The coupling is absolutely reliable. However, unevenly worn tires on the front and rear axles can damage it. You should check your power steering before purchasing. It significantly increases the maneuverability of the car, especially in the city. It's even easier to turn the steering wheel when city mode is activated. The power steering here is electromechanical with a motor on the steering column, if the steering wheel is heavy and the power steering lamp periodically lights up, then the servo drive is faulty and the breakdown is accompanied by error code C01 and C002. To eliminate the defect, it is necessary to replace the amplifier, which is replaced as an assembly of the steering column section, which is accordingly not cheap. The main drawback of the Fiat Panda is the suspension, it does not withstand hard labor on our roads, so you should not be surprised if, after 50,000 kilometers, not only the anti-roll bar struts, but also the shock absorbers become unusable. Unfortunately, the clutch often gives out very quickly, especially in versions with a 1.2-liter engine. In addition, jamming door locks often irritate owners, for example, sometimes it is impossible to open the trunk door due to a faulty lock microswitch.